took about two years from start to finish. Started in the summer of 99 and then May 29th I was completely blind. Best I can tell you is they uh, chalk it up to an idiopathic virus. I, not lazy, I'll work. I was a mechanic beforehand, now I'm a massage therapist. The difficulties are just not wandering aimlessly, like I'm lost or something. But the difficulties that are everyday normal life, cooking, cleaning, uh, they're pretty easy for me. I, I don't stay home. I try to get out as much as possible. I didn't want to be a burden to anybody. Uh, I didn't want to, uh, hey, can you take me here? Can you take me there? You know, that kind of stuff irritates me. Or when I can just brush over something and I can't find it, uh, that, that sends me off into a little uh, frenzy. I mean, you deal with it. What do you, what do, you do, really? I mean, when a person doesn't have an arm, what do they do? They use the other one. If they don't have both arms, well, they adapt. And that's, that's the human spirit. That's certainly how I was raised, anyway, not to let anything get you down. I have a good work ethic, and that's from both of my parents. You just adapt and overcome. That's all you can do, really. The cell phones, the apps, and the things that you can, you can read your money, you can, there's an app that you can actually call somebody and they'll tell you what, if, if your clothes match or something like that, you know, they do it on a volunteer uh, basis, so that's kind of cool. You know, uh, crossing the street, the APS, audio pedestrian signal, that's good. The truncated domes at uh, you know, the wheelchair ramp, things of that nature, being someone who used to be able to drive and just get in my vehicle and take off, and that's frustrating. That's very frustrating. Until that self-driving car comes around, I got to do what I got to do. Just know we're out there and we want to be a part of society just like everyone else and uh, live a, a normal life as much as it's going to be. Just, just look out for us. I can, that's the best thing I can say.